Welcome, everybody. Come on in. Come on All in. All right, Cece, we're doing a walkthrough of the event right before Generations. Yes, can't yes, wait. yes. It's going to be great. But as we walk through the building, I have some questions for you. Okay. Okay, what's the first thing on your mind in the morning? Uh, Jesus, the Lord. I need his help every single morning. What do you normally have for breakfast? Ooh, I'm not really a breakfast eater. I love breakfast food, but, but in the morning, normally I just want some coffee or something hot to drink um, uh, and some toast, some wheat toast, buttered toast. What do you take in your coffee? Uh, sugar and cream, probably too much of both. <laughs> or should I say cream and sugar? <laughs> do you get right up out of bed or do you have a bunch of alarms set? Uh, not a bunch of alarms. Um, most of the time, one works. But if I'm touring, I might do two if I'm really tired. Uh, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes two. Okay, we want to know about your husband. What's your favorite thing about him? His smile. It caught me 37 years ago, and I'm still caught. What's one thing no one knows about him? Ah, uh, he's, Alvin's really, really funny. Really, he's, his humor, he's, he's a funny guy. Okay, who's your favorite singer? My favorite singer? That is a hard question. I have so many favorite singers, but you know what? My mom's voice is pretty awesome, so I would say, Mom is you. First album you ever bought? First album I ever bought? Probably Andre Crouch. What's one thing people don't know about your career? Uh, about my career? I probably wouldn't have chosen this for myself. Uh, th this wouldn't have been my choice. <laughs> How old were you when you sang your first song in public? First song in public, eight years old. Brilliant. Do you have a favorite hype song? Favorite hype song. I've had favorite hype songs all down through the years. So right now, my favorite hype would probably be off of my record, and that's no greater. Look at this auditorium. It's going to be filled so soon. I know. It's going to be amazing. Um, lives are going to be changed. People are going to come in and they're going to leave out totally um, transformed because of the presence of God. We're going to have a lot of fun, uh, but a lot of healing. Okay, Cece, what music was playing in your home growing up? In my home growing up, only gospel music. Gospel music in the morning, in the afternoon in the evening, and, and we listen to all types of gospel music, so we fell in love with it. Is there something that your mom said that has la left a lasting impression on you? My mom, yes, she said so many things, but one that sticks out, it, it has to do with raising my children, and, um, and basically she just said, keep training them. Don't give up, just keep training them, and they'll get it, so don't, don't get discouraged. Parents out there, just keep praying and keep training them. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Favorite childhood memory, I have so many favorites, but uh, my mind goes to our family concerts growing up. We used to do family concerts in Detroit on Mother's Day weekend and also Christmas. And yes, some of my favorite memories. Would you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Introvert or extrovert, probably both. I love people. I love enjoying people and being in the midst and laughing and all of that good stuff. Uh, but I love being alone as well. I could live alone for a long time and do just great. <laughs> okay, Cece, what's the last place you visited? The last place? Well, th the last vacation I took was, was Hawaii, Honolulu, and it was glorious. We have found ourselves in the choir room right now. Yes. And so we would love it. Would you share some of your vocal warm-ups with us? Vocal warm-ups. Warm vocal warm-ups. Um, now, they look kind of strange. They sound kind of strange, but my grandchild, Wyatt, he loves them. All right? So are you ready? All right. This is going to change your life. Uh... That's one. Uh, yay! Woo! Yay! Me, 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 me. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> if you want to take a seat, I just have a couple more questions okay, for you. Okay, I can do that. Let's sit down. Okay, when you're on an airplane, window seat or aisle seat? Oh, window for sure. Window. I want to take a nap or try to, but at least you have that wall next to you, so window. Do you have a biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve? Uh, 
uh, let me see, food. I'm a foodie, right? So if it's supposed to be hot, I like hot food. I don't want cold food. Um, so that's a pet peeve of mine, for sure. <laughs> Favorite power outfit? Favorite power outfit? Uh, I think to date would be my last Dove Awards outfit. Uh, can't believe it, still can't believe it, but the feathers end up working. So it was just full of power. <laughs> okay, favorite clothing store? Clothing store, right now would have to be Zara. This is my jacket from Zara and it's um, great clothes, great prices. I'm curious, what advice would you give to your 20 year old self? <sighs> what advice would I give to my 20 year old self? Chill out, just. Breathe, everything is gonna work out. What's your favorite thing about being a grandma? Oh, I have so many favorite things about being a grandma. I don't have enough time to tell you. Uh, you know, every morning, cause, cause he stays with me right now and, and I love it. Every morning he busts open my husband and I door and, and he jumps on the bed and he gives his grandpa a kiss and he gives me a kiss and we are just, we're toast after that. We're totally melted. So. One of my favorite things. Favorite Bible verse? One of my favorite Bible verses, um, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Who's your mentor? Who's my mentor? My mom. I, I have several mentors, but, but she would be my number one mentor. What's the hardest challenge you've ever had to overcome? You know, I've faced a couple of really hard challenges in my life, a few. Uh, but 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 losing my second eldest brother, Ronald, uh, was pretty pretty rough. It was pretty rough. I never want to lose another sibling. I know I'll see him again one day, but that was hard. But God, he brought us through. Is there one thing you wish you could spend more time doing? One thing I could spend more time doing? Um, mm, uh, probably chilling out. Doing nothing would be great. <laughs> My life is so busy, so if I could spend more time doing nothing, it would be awesome. <laughs> this is an important one. What's your favorite beauty tip? Favorite beauty tip, that is so important, right? Rest, get some sleep. I need some right now, but, but rest would be the best beauty tip. How would your friends describe you in three words? Three words, well, um, Whitney used to describe me with three syllables, and that is reluctant star. Okay, curious, how would you describe yourself in three words? <laughs> Reluctant star. <laughs> and last question, what would you like to be known for? I would like to be known as a person who loved God with all of her heart, soul, and mind, and loved people well. Love.